Hello everyone, myself Dr. Manoj Kumar, working as an assistant professor in department of EC at MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. Today I am here to deliver a lecture talk on Q meter. This is overview of my presentation. First of all, I would like to discuss the basic concept of Q meter. Thereafter, classification, construction, working principle, and finally, I will be taking some of the application of Q meter. Q stands for quality meter. So, Q meter is also known as quality meter, which was developed in the 1934. So, Q meter basically measures the quality of an inductor or capacitor. As in the diagram, we can see that inductor, in order to measure the quality of capacitor or inductor, we can use the Q meter. So, a good inductor have very high Q factor, means high Q factor employs very low energy loss in the coil. As we know that there are some internal losses in the coil. If coil has more loss, obviously the Q factor value will be low. If coil has less loss, Q factor value will be very high. So, if Q factor is very high, it means the coil has low energy loss and it is very good coil to work with it. So, quality Q meter will measure the quality of an inductor or capacitor. So, based on the operation, we can classify, we can classify the Q meter as manual Q meter, basic functionality with manual tuning, automatic Q meter, which has advanced feature with automatic calibration. So, based on the operation, we have manual Q meter, automatic Q meters. Based on the applications, we have laboratory Q meters and portable Q meters. In laboratory Q meters are highly precise Q meters used in the research and development. Whereas, portable Q meters are very lightweight and suitable for the field work. So, based on the operation and the application, we have classified the Q meter. These are some of the key components of a Q meter. A Q meter generally consists of a frequency oscillator, which generates the AC signal of variable frequencies. A tunable circuit. Tunable circuit is nothing but the LC circuit, which is used to select a particular frequency. Then we have detector circuit, which measures the voltage or current ratio. Then we have display unit, where Q meter value are being displayed. And for that, we have, a for reference, we have a standard coil or capacitor, which provide a reference for the, for the calibration of Q meter. So, these were the various key components of a Q meter. So, in the block diagram, we can see that one oscillator is there, which will provide a frequency signal, a specified frequency signal. And here we can see that unknown coil with some internal resistance has been attached. All also, we can see here variable capacitor to tune this oscillator frequency. And also, we have thermocouple volt meter. So, what happens whenever we and this is CD distributed capacitance. So, coil has its internal resistance R as well as distributed capacitance CD. So, suppose oscillator generates some signal of a specified frequency by the help of this variable capacitor, we will try to tune this signal frequency and make the circuit in the resonance condition. Once the circuit get in the resonance condition, the electronic voltmeter will show some voltage and this voltage can be used to detect the quality of a factor by using the given formula. So, so quality factor can be given as omega L by R at the resonance condition. So, here the important thing is that you have to tune the capacitor and get the circuit into the resonance. Once the circuit get into the resonance, 
we can apply the this formula to calculate the quality factor of a coin so here also we can see that working principle is that it is based on the resonance so from the oscillator circuit we have to provide some signal of a certain frequency and by varying the capacitor we will try to tune that frequency once it is tuned we can apply that formula q equal to omega l by r and we can calculate the quality factor application what are the application of q meter q meter is widely used in the electronic design and testing it is used for evaluation and performance of inductor and capacitors it is widely used in the filter design ensuring optimal quality in frequency selective network rf circuitry it is also used in the rf circuitry for testing component in the radio frequency circuits so these are some of the application of q meter thank you